Today on MTG Unpacked, it's that time again! Yes, it is Chaos Six Pack time! So, you get six assorted boosters from recent Magic sets and a promo card, which is most likely a Thalia's Lancers, but we shall see. And with me today, we ha have the Glowing Eyes Chandra to do the pack blessing duties. Hopefully, she will get us some crazy pulls today. And not hose us like some of our other planeswalkers have done recently. So what do we have in this pack of goodness today? We have a Thalia's Lancers! What a fantastic surprise! Look at that. Totally worthless and they seem to have them in every pack. But let's see if we get something... Oh, we do get a bit more variety today. Oh, that's funny. Conspiracy Take the Crown. So we're actually going through that right now. Eldritch Moon, Oath of the Gatewatch, Magic Origins, and two packs of Fate Reforged. Okay. I'll take it. I wonder, I think the Fetch Lands are in these, possibly. Okay, so Chandra will do the pack blessing duties today. Wish us luck. So let's do this like so. Let's get stuck into it. We'll start off with Conspiracy Take the Crown. Let's see if Chandra can do some miracle working here like she has in recent videos. Alright, we start off with Crown Hunter Hiling, Garrulous Psychophant, and I swear, I've said it before, I'll say it again, this guy seems to be in every pack of this. Illusionary Informant, Trumpet Blast, Lay of the Land, Throne Warden, Death Wind, that is pretty cool, Sylvan Bounty, Messenger Jays, Twin Bolt, and for the Uncommons we have Shipwreck Singer, Custodes Soul Caller, Knights of the Black Rose, and rare is Phyrexian Arena. Alright, so this is enchantment for three. At the beginning of your upkeep you draw a card and you lose one life. Who is a fan of the Phyrexians? Leave a note in the comments. And assemble the rank and vial. We've seen this a bunch of times already so I'm not going to rehash it. And the Monarch token. Alright, so not too bad to start off with. I think that Phyrexian Arena is worth a couple of bucks. Okay, onward to Eldritch Moon. And I think is Liliana in this one. That would be pretty cool. We get a Backwoods Survivalists. Sigardian Priest. Woodland Patrol. Weirded Vampire, Vampire Horror, that is pretty weird. It of the Horrid Swarm, that's also weird. Contingency Plan. Borrowed Hostility, Thraben Standard Bearer. Cathar's Shield. And for the Uncommons we have Campaign of Vengeance. Thirsting Axe. Liliana's Elite. And the rare is Coax from the Blind Eternities. What a card name. <laughs> Sorcery for three. You may choose an Eldrazi card you own from outside the game or in exile. Reveal that card and put it into your hand. Alright. And one of these flippers. So we have a Conduit of Storms. Flips into... A Conduit of Emrakul. Eldrazi Werewolf. Alrighty. And a cool zombie token. Alright, so that was Eldritch Moon. And if you have not seen this year's Halloween special, you might want to go back check it out. We cracked open a fat pack of Eldritch Moon. A lot of fun. Had some crazy mythics there. So that was well worth it. Alright, next pack. So, yeah, one of the Fate Reforged. We have Whisk Away, Sibzig Host, Sultai Skullkeeper, Sandblast, Jeskai Sage, Sultai Runemark, 
Great Horn Krushok, Bathe in Dragonfire, Frontier Mastodon, Defiant Ogre. It's been a while since I've opened any of this. We actually, um, I think it was last year, we went through the whole block, Tarkir block. Uncommons, we have Friendly Fire, Pyrotechnics, Lotus Eye Mystics, and the rare is a Jeskai Infiltrator. So, Creature Human Monk 2 3 for 3 mana. Jeskai Infiltrator can't be blocked as long as you control no other creatures, and when it deals combat damage to a player, exile it and the top card of your library in a face down pile. Shuffle that pile, then manifest those cards. So to manifest a card, put it onto the battlefield face down as a 2-2 creature. Turn it face up any time for its mana cost if it's a creature card. Does anybody remember the manifest mechanic? What do you think? Leave a note in the comments. And a dismal backwater. And a manifest creature. There we go. So that's exactly what we needed there. Alrighty, halfway through, I'm not seeing anything ridiculous, although we did get that nice card, what is it, Phyraxian Arena, that was pretty decent. Okay, Oath of the Gatewatch, maybe we'll pull a lottery card. We didn't have much luck the other day, but you never know, Searing Light, Negate, more of Kozilek, Kozilek's Translator or Kozilek, however you want to say it, lead by example, hold out settlement, gravity negator, bone saw, expedition raptor, tar snare, and for the uncommons we have a submerged boneyard, gift of tusks, Malakir soothsayer, and rare is Goblin Dark Dwellers. Yes, we love the goblins. Creature Goblin 4-4 four, four for 5 mana with Menace. When Goblin Dark Dwellers enters battlefield, you may cast target instant or sorcery card with a mana cost 3 or less from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. If that card would be put into your graveyard this turn, exile it instead. And a full art forest and an Eldrazi Scion. Okay, so... Nothing crazy there. Chandra, what are you doing to us? Magic Origins up next. Maybe our luck will change here, or maybe we're about to get horribly hosed. We shall see. We have Dragon Fodder, Celestial Flare, Dark Dabbling, Infectious Bloodlust, Elvish Visionary, Stratuswalk, Vastwood Gurger, what's that? Gorger, Artificer's Epiphany, Wild Instincts, Instincts, see now I'm having trouble with language, it's getting late, Guardian Automaton, and for the uncommons we have Ravaging Blaze, Conclave Naturalists, Sentinel of the Eternal Watch. And rare is Molten Vortex. So this is an enchantment for a single mountain. Pay a mountain, discard land card, and Molten Vortex deals 2 damage to target creature or player. Does anybody have this in foil? How does it look? Any of these things with lightning bolts or fire and stuff always look cool, I reckon. In foil form. And a mountain and a knight token. Alright. On to the last pack here. Chandra, have you hosed this? I really hope not. Oh, we have one of these don't steal things on here. Just in case you had any fiendish ideas, people. All right, we have Pressure Point. Avon Skirmisher, Lotus Path Jin. Hooded Assassin, Ethereal Ambush, Fierce Invocation, Timur Runemark, Tassigur's Cruelty, Maru Scout, Feral Krushok, and for the Uncommons we have a Jeskai Barricade, Rage Form, Timur Sabertooth, and Rare is a 
Dramoka the Eternal, legendary creature, dragon, 5-5 five, five for 5 mana with flying. Whenever a dragon you control attacks, bolster 2. So what on earth is bolstering? Choose a creature with the least toughness among creatures you control and put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. So I would say that is definitely counting as bolstering. Thornwood Falls and a manifest token. Okay, so... Chandra, I believe you host this today. I am not pleased. Leave a note in the comments if you believe Chandra host us and if she should not be invited back. I can't remember in the sequence of videos she may reappear, but we shall see. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.